So, Vern, we're walking around the car checking this thing out. This is beautiful. Tell, tell us about the names you got on your deck in here. These are people that had something to do with racing yeah. or, or just a, a race fan that we knew. Right. Um, this guy here is like Dick Morgan. Uh -huh. He's on Whitewater Valley Speedway. He's the guy that first built that. Really? Uh, and then we got Jim Dorn. Used to own Eichler's car that Danny Eichler used to drive. Right. These are just just people that we knew. People, this people, is, people this, involved. I yep. drove this guy's car. The first car I ever drove was at Lawrenceburg, West Noble. I just drove it one time. But just one time. Yeah. Hey, that's all it takes well, sometimes to have that connection. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, then we were friends <laughs> from then on. He's uh, Kim Krebs is. Yeah. Really, who he is. Greg um, Stahl, David Willoughby, Leroy Rumley. And he's got, uh, who else you got here? Well, Bobby Oni, do you remember him? No. Oh, he's from up around Chillicothe. Pop Mulligan, Don Mulligan's dad. Yep. Daryl Dick. Merle Downey. Yeah. Chris Francis. Jack, Jack yeah. Boggs. Jack Boggs. Butch Shea, you remember him? Yeah, yeah. Don Douglas. I'm Ronnie pretty sure Douglas I have, I think I have a, a cutout picture from old Mid-American Mid of one of Butch. Butch's old cars. What's Ron that? Baker, do you remember him? Ron Baker? He used to run up at Brown County in Glen Estes. Uh, that, that number looks real familiar. That, 73. Yeah, it was the first yeah. fiberglass car. Really? It was all fiberglass. Huh. Now, what, uh, we were talking about Butch. Andy Carrier's brother. Was uh, Butch's number like X1 or one, yeah, one, X, one X? One X. One X, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. One X or X1, one. I don't remember. Peanut. James yeah. Rowland on there. Yeah. We used to, uh, when me, me and Josh used to camp out. Back in the days of North South, people first started camping. We used to camp out next to Peanut every every year. He was a trip, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, Peanut was a good guy. Uh, yeah, so we're definitely gonna make sure we get some pictures of this Hartman. And stuff. Yeah. Uh, who else did I just see? Gene Weber Senior. Yeah. Betty Landrum, yep. Stephen Moore. Mm -hmm. uh, Jackie Boggs. Yep. Tim Gene Hughes. Crittenden. Gene, yep. Latham's on here somewhere. Uh, it's just, I mean, this is just a great tribute to, you know, some of the great people, you know, yeah. even people that not everybody knew some of these people, but. Yeah. That's somebody true, knew but him. Somebody knew him. Somebody knew him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you, is Mr. Whopper? You don't remember him either, do you? No, I don't think I remember Mr. Whopper. Mr. Whopper. He was <laughs> first time I've seen him. We were at Tri County Speedway. Yeah. And I seen this guy walking down through here and I said, God damn, what's that guy doing up on that top of that car walking? And he wasn't. He was just walking on the side of it. Yeah. I mean, that son of a bitch. <laughs> he had a Trans Am with the front seat taken out of it. So he's sitting in the back seat. He sat in the back seat and drove that son of a bitch. That's how tall he was and how big he was. <laughs> wow. He laid down. Really? I guess if you're that tall, you got to do something. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's awesome. I, I did. I, I knew you guys had last year you had it in the stripes. This year you got it in the ovals. And, yeah, and like he I still said, this good. is Eddie Carrier. Brother, I know there's there's probably a few more on there that I was looking for. I didn't quite see Larry Phillips. On there. Phillips, yeah. Uh, Merv Canada, Ike Moeller. Porter Lanigan's on here somewhere. Probably got Jerry King on there somewhere. Jerry King's on here. He's over there. He's over yeah. there. So. Well, I definitely want to make sure that I, I brought some recognition to this because I, I think this is really cool that you guys do this. And, and, and it's on this deck part too. Yeah, on the rest of the car, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome. 
All right, race fans, welcome back. We're green flagging back. So I guess we took a little yellow flag, a little caution. Yeah, we, we had a had had stretch your legs and make a lap around the car here. So, yep. so we're back and we're talking, uh, gosh. So me and you crossed paths, I guess it's probably been a few years ago, maybe six or eight years ago, maybe a little longer. About that. When uh, we, we both did some work for Mr. Uh, Chad Oberson. Oberson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I know I, I was running a, uh, a box scraper in the – plowing some snow for him what were you doing for him i was working on his race car <laughs> that kept me busy <laughs> that kept you busy well that I mean yeah i mean chad he he started a modified he had mods for a while yeah. then he then he got a late model i think he had a street street stock and you run at whitewater for a really? while really i see i don't I yeah don't, mm -hmm. i don't remember the street stock. yeah it was just a regular monte carlo regular, i believe it back, was monte carlo yeah back in the day mm -hmm. now i I have to fact check with Michael. Is that is that kind of where Michael got his start in the in the graphics? I, I, I was thinking it was so, somewhere around there. Yes, it was. He yeah. he he started with a little uh, looked like a toy printer, <laughs> and 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 worked his way up to where he's at today. Man, I mean the kid the kids he's going places. I mean he's yes. he's doing a lot now. I mean probably gosh. I mean not to not to be boasting, but man, you're probably one of the top rap guys in the country i'd say i mean you pr you do quite a bit They're, i mean good looking stuff too i mean again i mean i don't know anybody's pulling off that kind of green that is that's beautiful i mean it almost looks like it's painted yeah somebody asked us who, who painted that <laughs> who painted that man you guys spent a lot of time painting that <laughs> but no no paint that's that's all michael no it's all yeah. it's all rap michael does a good job so we're, we're Let's talk about some of the more modern stuff. We're we're in the modern era now. What, okay. uh, we, oh God? Do you have any favorite? Is there any of the stuff that you really like, or you wish you had had a long time ago? I wish I I wish I had a, had this a, a long power time steering, ago. Power, power steering. steering. <laughs> the the transmission. You only got one gear. You know. Yeah. I mean. The, Take, take a lot of the work out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you're, used to you had to pull out in first, second, third. Oh and, my God. Yeah. You know, and most of the time we just had a three-speed. We didn't have yeah, a yeah, four-speed. Yeah. If you yeah. had a four-speed, you took two of the gears out of it anyway. Right. You know, so. I, my first my first race car, I had a four-speed Muncie in it. Yeah. And I hardly ever used a second and third. I'd, you know, get her up going in first and then go straight to that fourth yeah. gear. Mm -hmm. Then uh, a, a buddy of mine kind of ripped the transmission out of it. Spencer Watson had an uh, old brown can. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he replaced it with a three-speed, which was fine. It, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> but that was a lot of fun. Well, you know, like you said, back in the old days, you had to you had to make your own stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. But today, it's it's so nice to just bolt it on. Sure. You know, you yeah. don't have to figure all this stuff out. You don't have out. to do all the fabricating and yeah. all the engineering mm -hmm. that you, you, you used to have to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. But it's it's nice just to uh, be able to sure. bolt it on and hit just like this car. This car here, you can you can order any panel on it Anything. you want on the decking, yep. or the quarter panels, or the yep. fenders, or whatever. You can order everything you need. And you don't do nothing but uh -uh. bolt it on. And and it's really just about as cheap to order it that way as yeah. it is to buy a sheet of aluminum and make it. Yeah, some some stuff. Yeah, some stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I think the oh yeah. Uh, prices on everything, and we'll talk about prices on everything. That's that's another thing. I mean, I've I've started. I've made a few for uh, for my boss. I've made a few body panels for him and stuff, and spoiler kits. You know, it's like man, I can make like three spoiler kits out of one sheet of aluminum, which you know, one spoiler kit you buy is probably twice that much. Yeah. Um, prices, man. Would you ever have thought that th these things would cost? No, man. no, never would have thought it. Would it would have went this hard for you know yeah but the, the cars are so good yeah. you know who, now g give me your opinion who do you think's to blame for the pricing if you take if you take away the government and you take away the inflation is it the more the the chassis builders making what they're making out or the engine builders i mean man there's a lot of uh, tires I mean, well, there's a whole nother topic I, I, i'm i'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer <laughs> but I don't understand where they get that much money for building a motor. Yeah, it's expensive. I mean, you got a crankshaft, a camshaft, and, and and eight pistons and eight rods, yeah. uh, you know, and an oil pump, and yep. it's outside the motor. It's you know, right. it's that's not counting the motor. Yes. Uh, you know, and and a set of 
valves and it's and, expensive you know it's crazy and and, and they want sixty thousand dollars yeah you know hey I, I guess they gotta pay for their racing but, too, well so it, 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 everything everything's out yeah. of this uh, you know what about tires yeah is, is this not crazy with what we're going through to get tires yeah can't get them they Can't say Michael Michael got them, but I yeah. don't know how. But he, <laughs> he maybe knew the right people. I guess. Yeah, I guess he he said he, he wasn't having no trouble getting them. Yeah. So I I seen uh, I got the message that uh, I guess Florence for the first time in a long time they're going to start allowing something other than a Hoosier. I used to love him Macquarie's. Yeah. And then and then they changed to American racers now right, but right but used to they were Macquarie's and they were yep. good tars yeah you mm. know spe speaking of Macquarie this is I uh, I can dig up some pictures I've got me and my dad built this uh 1928 Model A two-door sedan and dad wasn't big into tubbing it he tubbed it just a little but we had he had big Macquarie sprint car tires on the back of this thing and it set like something out of the monsters hot rod or something and it was just wild looking he had the big wide five adapter plates to have those big tires on there. So you would never in the world, I mean, it kind of looked like, I guess, a, I guess what you would call now a rat rod now, but yeah. they were rat rods back then. Dad, Dad was just trying to hot rod it out or hot something. Hot rod it up, yeah. Yeah, and it was, he, he had a couple of those. I think he got them from, uh, I think maybe Gary Engel got him those or something, but they, it, was, it was wild looking. I know what I was going to ask you. In the, in the last video we were talking about, you, you mentioned the, the humper tires. There's probably a lot of people, younger people, that don't know what that is. Tell, tell us what that humper tire well, is. Well, a, a, a humper tire, when you when you went down the straightaway, the car would kind of wiggle because it had such a tall sidewall. Okay. Uh, like our tires here yeah. are, are 90 inches right. circumference. Yeah. Them were 112. Whoa, big tires. Big tires. It, <laughs> you want to talk about some stagger. Yeah, the first time we put a, our, our low loved the Macquarie's, but yeah. there were 11 inch Macquarie's. Right. Well, we went to Lawrenceburg one night and uh, they had three, they had three shows down there on a Wednesday night. Yeah. In the middle of the week, see? Mm -hmm. One in one month, next month in the middle of the month, they had another one. The next month they had another, another. one. Well, they're supposed to. Yeah. So we go in down there, and we got 11-inch Macquarie's on. Everybody else has got the big humpers. Well, they're they're about 14 inches wide or, or better. Right. And uh, we win the race. <laughs> well, Hunter Lapper. Yeah. We win it. Next month, I go back. And I got a set of humpers on me. <laughs> Harlow finally bought a set of humpers. He didn't want to buy them. Right. And tell you the truth, it was that green and white car. Uh -huh. It looked like a big frog. <laughs> I mean, the tires, you know, was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We win the race again. Okay. So the next month, just before the race was supposed to be ran, Carol Hamilton was running the track at that time. Okay. He called me up and he said, "Hey, Lefevers." He said, "We're not going to have no more Lefevers benefit nights." He said, "I ain't making no money. You're the only one's making any <laughs> money on this deal." So they didn't have the third one, but I won both of them. Uh, I won two of them. Huh? I heard. Uh, I don't know. The other night we had we had a live uh, podcast deal over at Fretboard Brewery. Went great, and Dave Rudisell said that he would be interested or talking to uh, Josh and Larry Pickleheimer about maybe doing a, a, a three-day event or three-day deal, you know, like maybe a Friday night at Moeller, a Saturday night at uh, Florence, and then trucking on over to Lawrenceburg on a Sunday for, you know, a little race. And I was like, man, that don't sound like a horrible idea. Maybe you catch, no, that sounds catch like a good idea. If, once once if or I twice don't. a year. I'm not saying every week, but maybe, yeah. maybe a couple times yeah. a year might be beneficial. I'd go for that. Yeah. Uh, if it don't turn my car up, during, <laughs> you, you know, right. on a Friday night and three, don't three get it ready. Yeah. That could be a lot of work. <laughs> It'd be a lot of work, but we could do it. Right. Uh, I got an awful good pit crew. Yeah. Uh, it's my brother's hard, two boys. Some guys here. Tell, tell us who you got on your pit crew. Uh, there's my two nephews, Greg and Timmy. Okay. 
okay. Lefevers. Yep. Uh, Mike Shepard. Okay. Uh, Jun Junior. Yeah. Uh, and Will, my brother's son-in-law, Ed Wimpy. Okay. And uh, Michael and yep. Todd. Michael and JT. And uh, they say they say JT's the crew chief, but oh, I'm yeah. the car chief. <laughs> <laughs> So, so tell tell us before before we wrap things up. Tell us tell us about your sponsors. Who who we got on the sponsors this year? Well, we got Nick's Towing. Yep, which is uh, a nice place here to have have a race car at. They got anything that I need to fix a race car with, and it's he here. knows he can do anything. Right. The man can make anything. That's awesome. Uh, then then we have uh, Joseph Toyota. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Harris. Distributors. Yep. Uh, Clark. Uh, you got you got a few of them on here. I got, this got this might be hard, hard to remember. It's hard for me to remember them because <laughs> yeah. I, I really don't yeah. pay up much attention to them. That's Michael's yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's job. Michael's, yep. We'll, we'll and, make sure we get them all on here. We're going to have and, pictures and things like that. We'll blend okay. in. So we'll make sure we get them all plugged Kurt in. Burr, we got him on there. Yep. And then... Uh, yeah, and Carthage Auto Parts. Oh yeah, it's a good question. The, I, I got text from from our tech guy here. They want to know those are humpers. Were were those Hoosiers or those no, McQuarries? They were McQuarries. McQuarries, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were they were McQuarrie. Yeah. In, they, in people watching this, man, I, I tell you, I am all over the place too. I mean, I'll bounce back and forth. That's that's why I'm not good with doing scripted stuff because I'll, I'll have something scripted, and man, that'll make perfect sense. But then if I try to get to it, I'll forget stuff and I'll bounce around, and it won't make a bit of sense. <laughs> so no, I'm just better just going off the cuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's, the, that's the only way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so I seen I seen Carthage on the front here. We're I think we're we're actually going to talk to those boys here soon too. Yeah, that's what I, I was told. Yeah. Um, and and uh, dude, we have we have Valley Radiator, which is no longer in business, right. but we just do that. You gotta keep and, that on there. And uh, our nest battery, that was Mike Shepard's dad's uh -huh. grandpa's business, and yeah. it's no longer. Right. But but we still put it on there. Sure, it looks good. Yeah. Nostalgia. Yep. Well, well, Vern, I tell you, this is, uh, I like it. I think it's one of the better looking cars. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of the blue one you had as well. Um, but that, it, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good looking piece well, you got Well, we're going we're gonna to make a blue one uh, for the 22 car for, yeah. for Lawrenceburg only. I mean, really? you know, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we're going to put a, put a different body on well, it. I look, I look forward to seeing that. I am uh, definitely look forward to some new stuff this year. Got a lot of new stuff going on, so... Look forward to seeing that as well. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to mention or bring up or any other stories before we close? No, I'm, I'm good. You're good. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, this, is, this has been educational. I mean, I'm, I'm a weird kid. I like old closet history stuff. And I, just getting to hear about the history and some of the stories, you know, that I, I would have never guessed figure eight was where you got started. So that was That's where I got started. That was that was pretty neat for me. So mm -hmm. I, I hope this has been entertaining for everybody. I hope they like it as well. And um, so now you you've got to meet Vern Lefevers, the legend here, and we'll get to see him at the racetrack. So make sure you get out this year. Uh, what's your schedule looking like? You obviously well, that's that's Obviously, Michael's that's that. Michael's deal too. I don't <laughs> like, know. I okay. just go where, like where, I, wherever the truck's going. <laughs> like I like I said, you, you got to go. Yeah. If you're driving for somebody, you yeah. got to go where the car goes, or you ain't you ain't that's gonna right. race. Yeah. He's just, and uh, so I just go wherever they tell me to go to. All right. Well, good. Well, I'm sure we're probably gonna see you at Florence. We're probably oh, gonna see well, you at we, Muller. We're gonna be at Florence when they run. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, I don't know if he's gonna run all. Yeah, it's, it's a, a thing he told me that that he wasn't going to run late models every week. Right. Yeah, I think but, he's been a little bit more selective on his schedule and trying to pay out a little bit better on the weeks that he does run on. So uh, we'll we'll see. This this could be a good thing. We'll give I guess we'll give it a shot and hope for the best. <laughs> I, I I don't feel it'll it'll go very good without him. You know? Yeah, it's uh, Florence has typically always been a. Um, Late, Late model, model based, fan. yeah, yeah, fan based yeah, kind of track. Uh, so, but, I, I, 
but with the cost of cars and things, you know, I, I can't say I blame a promoter. I can't to, either. Man, you, you've got to gotta look something. at options. Yeah, yeah you got to look at mm -hmm. options and see what's going to keep the doors open and stuff. So I can't, yeah. I, like I said, I can't say I blame a guy for looking at different avenues. No, anyway. I can't either. Uh, yeah. But I, I hope I, for the best. I feel that after he does this. Uh, we may for, go back full time late miles next year, maybe. Yeah. It, well, <laughs> whenever, whenever he don't do a late model show and all he does is the crates, which the crates are good, yeah, but yeah. they ain't like a late model. Right. And and uh, and the Hornets, he he'll get a bunch of people with them because right. there's a lot of people right. following him. But I don't think he'll make as much money as he would if he had the late models. <laughs> and, the late models. <laughs> and I think that's what he wants to do is yeah. make money because yeah. that's why he's that's got everybody the track. wants to make money. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll hope hope for the best, and uh, everyone, come on out to the racetrack, and uh, and we'll be there as long as we can. That's right. You'll you'll, you'll mm -hmm. see Vernal Fevers piling the number ninety machine around uh, local tracks this year, and hopefully getting some more wins. I hope so too. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Slinging Dirt Media, and uh, we'll see you next week.